Now, as we're studying uh, the encryption chapter and studying it is a technical control, uh, which also can be called a, log a logical control, so we think about encryption, we have services. And the services that are provided are confidentiality. Uh, we have integrity. We have non-repudiation. And then we have authentication. Now, when we deal with confidentiality, we say this level of secrecy. And so, when we think about confidential, uh, confidentiality as a service within crypto, it is provided through symmetric crypto. And when we, we're going to study a little bit about symmetric crypto as we go, but basically it's one key. One key is used to encrypt and decrypt. Uh, it is the most efficient at securing data. And so, symmetric crypto provides confidentiality. We start looking at integrity. Integrity uh, is produced through hashing. Hashing is a numerical representation of the data. Um, hashing is something that's done uh, many times over, even with ATM cards, with ATM logons, you create hash. So that's about integrity. And so the idea is there is if I hash a message and put a message digest on it and send it off to another user, uh, if I hash with uh, and create a message digest and they receive it, they produce an independent message digest, and if they're equal, then we have integrity. So hashing is totally integrity. When we think about non-repudiation and authentication, this works with asymmetric crypto, and particularly the private key. Now, when we, we're going to study asymmetric in detail, and asymmetric crypto has a public key and a private key that are mathematically related. However, when we think about non-repudiation, we're thinking about like signing our email Non-repudiation means I cannot deny it because I digitally signed it. And it authenticates me as a user. Your cat card would be an example of authentication. You put it in your keyboard along with your pen, you're authenticated. 